today I wanted to share with you guys something a little more, you know, closer to the heart, <laughs> a, little, a little deeper and a little more personal for me. My dream, my desire, my goal is to become a successful musician. And what that means for me is um, I want to be able to make music and I want to be able to pay for the things in my life, financial freedom through music. I want to be able to create something that moves people throughout the world and moves a large number of people. And I want people to feel something profound from what I do in this life. And for about 10 years, I had the dream to be the world's greatest solo electric bass player. That was my single-minded goal, single-minded dream for about a decade. I didn't go to college because both of my parents who are college professors told me that to become a great musician, it is unnecessary to go to school. Of course, I also had one of the world's greatest music teachers living in the same house as me, so I had a bit of a unique situation. So I stayed home and lived in my parents' basement for about 10 years, practicing the bass. And the thing was, every day was a challenge for me, it was an emotional and mental challenge. It was, it was a mountain that I was trying to climb every day, and every day I failed. And every day I felt like a failure. And for the first maybe four or five years, I really felt like I was failing at this every day. I felt like I was never gonna make it. But as I learned about how success happens, how it works. And as I learned more about myself and how steps get you somewhere, <laughs> steps in the right direction over a period of time actually lead you somewhere, even if they're not as great a number or as large steps as you're hoping for it at one time, they still lead you in that direction. As I learned about that, after years of failure, years of feeling like a failure every day, because I would get maybe an hour or two hours of practice in a whole day, and I would think to myself, I am living here at my parents' house, I don't have a job, I don't, I'm not going to school, I'm not doing the things that normal people do, I don't have personal relationships, I have a couple of friends, but they're musicians, not, I don't have a girlfriend, you know? For a decade, I didn't have a girlfriend. And I would think, why am I doing this to myself? Why am I putting myself in this position every day, giving myself the ultimate opportunity to move forward at the fastest pace possible, and then failing every day to move forward? And the truth was, the, the reality was that I had built this giant problem in my head. I was afraid of the work, so I would avoid the work. But when I was younger, I was taught that every day is a new day. And what happened today does not necessarily need to mean that tomorrow the same thing will happen. You can change your direction in a moment and have a new heading overnight. So every day I would say to myself, okay, I got this small step it's not what I wanted, I failed today. But tomorrow I will wake up and I will practice eight hours and I will become successful. And I will have finally, after years of trying, I will have accomplished one day of true powerful success. The next day I would wake up and I would try and I would fail again. It took me years of failing on a daily basis and feeling bad about that to finally realize and recognize that the continued failure, the cycle of failing every day, with the strength every night to say again, I failed, but tomorrow I can, I can do it better. I can change, I know I can be better. And I'm gonna try again tomorrow. I'm, I felt like I was lying to myself. For years I felt like I was lying to myself. I, you know, and I would question every night, can I actually do better tomorrow? I don't know. I didn't do better today and I've said this to myself a thousand times. Maybe I really can't, but then I would say to myself, no, tomorrow the reality is I can change this now and tomorrow I will wake up and do better. I will be the perfect me. I will take the perfect step. After years of doing this, I realized that, that real success doesn't come from one day of getting the perfect eight hours of practice. Real progress comes from a continued, sustained effort. Even if I fail every day to take the kind of step that I wanted, I was still taking a small step every day, an hour, two hours, maybe three hours, 
Sometimes I would just find something that I'd fall in love with and I'd, I'd play it over and over for five or six hours. There were years where I wouldn't count what I was doing as practicing because it was just fun for me. And I didn't think it was practice, but so I felt like a failure still. After I realized that the small step every day is more important and more powerful than the one perfect step in one day, after I realized that, I began to understand that failure on a daily basis to achieve something leads you to an ultimate success as long as you continue to attempt every day to move forward. So now when I make a goal for myself and I have a dream and I say, I wanna be this and I wanna do this and I fail every day to take a perfect step forward still. And there are a lot of times when I can't take any kind of step forward. Like I'm, I have responsibilities now. I have things that I have to take care of. I have a wife and I have a house and I have, you know, just the responsibilities of life have hit me hard in the last couple of years. I just wait till I have kids, oh my goodness. But even now, when I have these dreams, when I have a direction to move in, I have to remind myself every day that, no, I can't be Ed Sheeran tomorrow. I can't, I can't have the perfect day and then suddenly be successful and famous and rich. It's gonna take small steps that feel like failures on a regular basis for years. And so I still question myself every day. Can I actually do this? Am I actually gonna be able to go where I wanna go and do what I wanna do? That quote, desire shows itself in our conversation, expectation shows itself in our actions, comes back to me. And, and I understand that if I expect something to happen, it will change my reactions to the world wrote something down here that I, I thought I wanted to share with you. Eventually, after having encountered enough crossroads in our lives and having our choice of paths dictated by our expectations, our dreams will manifest themselves in reality simply by deduction of the incorrect paths or the paths that don't lead us towards our expectations. So every time I have a choice of whether to take the step that moves me forward towards my dreams, my goals, and my expectations, or to take a step that does not. I attempt to make the choice that takes me forward, even if that choice only comes once every few days, or even if that choice only comes in small forms, or even if that choice only leads to very small steps forward. So yes, my future is a question. I don't know how far I can go. I don't know what this will lead to. I think my music is good enough to take me somewhere. My dream and my hope is to reach millions of people. And I think I can. I, I know it's possible. And I think, I think the biggest determining factor of whether it will actually come into existence or not is whether or not I can force myself to expect it, force myself to believe it every day. Even if it's a hard thing to believe and even if there's that little question in the back of my head, it doesn't matter. I can't act on that question. I can't let that question drive my choices and my directions. I have to have my expectations driving my choices, driving my direction. And I have to build my expectations. I have to learn to expect success. And if I learn to expect success, I think success will eventually come because I will take all the correct steps to lead me that direction. So this connection that I'm having with you right now is kind of an interesting thing that I don't think many musicians actually get to have with people on a regular basis because, because I can tell you the things that I'm thinking and feeling and believing. And if this actually works, if I can actually achieve what I believe, what I want to achieve, we will have had this connection for the entire ride. Well, starting you know, 13 days ago. <laughs> I'm glad that I get to do this and speak with you. And I'm very glad for the comments that I get back. When you guys leave me comments, it's great. It lets me know that somebody's out there listening. And the more people that can give me comments from this, the more this will affect me and make me feel like I'm actually saying something that, that you know connects with people. So yeah, leave me comments, subscribe. If you like what I'm saying, share it. I believe that we can do this. I believe that we can achieve the dreams that we build in our minds. And I believe our chances of success are most greatly determined by our expectations and our beliefs in ourselves. So, adventure well and dream big from your friends at Ashpine.
Well, that's enough deep, heady uh, conversation for tonight. I'm signing off. I'll see you guys tomorrow.